whatever you say I am Late Registration This album is one that I always seem to come back to Even though this album's been out for 12 years already Damn So these are the tracks I felt were the strongest on this album D-Ray opens the album up with his awesome impression of Bernie Mac Prizing his role from College Dropout Then the album drops right into the soulful track Heard Him Say featuring Adam Levine Back when he actually made good music <laughs> Fuck him This song always struck a chord with me the message of moving on and carving your own path in the world that may seem against you or fighting any hardships. Just do you and press on through. My personal favorite track on here. Of course, you also got the funky Touch the Sky featuring Lupe Fiasco. Everything on this track works. The beat, which samples Curtis Mayfield's Move On Up, if that wasn't obvious, to Lupe doing what he does best. It's just a feel-good track all around. One of my favorite beats on here. My Way Home is a nice little track. Common made this song amazing. I honestly don't know if I could imagine Kanye on here with him. It maybe wouldn't have sounded as strong as I think it did, at least to me. It kind of sucks that it's only a minute. I mean, if it were longer, I could see this being one of the stronger songs on here. Now this shit right here, the simplistic beat, Kanye just ripping into the song with vicious rhymes and storytelling that only Kanye knows how to do, and the game hitting the hook, it's just a sick track all around. If only the game wrapped on here, this would probably be my favorite track, but it's great as it is. Easily my favorite beat on the entire album. Roses. Man, I could not stop listening to this song. The story is amazingly told, the feelings and message in this song are so strong. When Kanye can't believe a nurse would even ask for an autograph while him and his family are in the other room trying to be strong while their loved one is laying in a bed being held by these same people. It just seems so, I don't know, it just paints a vivid picture to think of. I could only imagine if that shit happened to anyone else in Kanye's shoes. Do not pass this track up. It is easily the best track on this entire album. Addiction is a song that I keep coming back to as well. The sample is amazing, the beat is mesmerizing with the bongos and guitar, and the subject matter is one that I know many people can relate to. One of the more lush songs on here. Jesus Christ. James Bond meets Kanye and Hove? Perfection. That beat is fucking crazy. The subject matter again is very powerful. And Shirley Bassey's unmistakable vocals blaring Diamonds Are Forever never got old. I could do without the forever ever repeating phrase from Kanye though, but the blood diamond trade isn't something to joke about. Kanye paints a picture on this again. The line though it's thousand miles away, Sierra Leone connects what we go through today. Over here it's a drug trade, we die from drugs, over there they die from what we buy from drugs. That, just damn. One hell of a track. We Major, amazing chill beat. Nas killing his verse as usual, and Really Do shining through as well. Easily one of my favorite beats on the album as well. And finally, Late. Late has another chill ass beat that just makes me drift into a creative mood. The keyboards moving around and making the atmosphere feel so smooth as hell. The sweet sounding I'll be late for it, I can't believe Kanye made this shit seem so easy. He was, and to some extent still, a mastermind on making beats. But again, just like on Diamonds from Sierra Leone, why does Kanye have to make those weird ass noises? <laughs> really? What the fuck does that add to the song? One first, first time I heard this, I thought the shit switched to Wizard of Oz or something. Great track, but could do without Kanye's ahahas. Anyway, all in all, I give this album a 4 out of 5. Some tracks on here didn't really do a lot for me, but still had a lot of great beats on it. And awesome features as well. This album was the album that got me into Kanye West. And every other subsequent album he released after College Dropout and this made me hope that those projects would have sick ass beats, amazing collaboration, and lyrics and subject matters that were meaningful, as well as fun or hilarious. And for the most part they did, but that's another story for some other day. Okay, so today we're gonna start off with the album Late Registration, which has been a hot topic, I guess, between me and my friends, because just the day before we decided to do this, I was talking about it with my other friend all of a sudden. So it's pretty weird that now we'll, we're doing the review. And what was the first review? Okay. Well, the album starts off with D-Ray with the skit, which all the skits are pretty fucking dope. But the actual album starts off with 
Heard him say featuring Adam Levine from Room 5. This song's for sure on repeat for a while with Adam's nice vocals, compliment kind of dope as lyrics. And to be honest, it's probably the first time we ever heard Adam Levine in the hip hop world and shit. So that was cool. But I didn't really hear from him much after that in the hip hop world from what I know of. Alright. Then after comes a song, Touch the Sky featuring Lupa Fiasco, which is probably another time we heard Lupa Fiasco for the first time. Other than kick push, kick push. Everything was pretty catchy. I automatically got hooked, man. Overall, every instrument on the beat was so legit. Oh man, then comes Gold Digger with Jimmy Fox. This song literally had everyone jamming from moms to kids. It was pretty crazy. This is that one kind of song that you can put on anytime and everyone. I mean, everyone will automatically sing along. Random fact, that Alice Vance and his brother sings this song. It's pretty damn dope. And then we have Drive Slow, which Drive Slow. It was pretty much a looked upon song. It's really... It's a really underrated song in my opinion. I don't even think people remember Kanye West and Paul Wall did a song together. But to me, it was one of the dopest songs in the whole album. Because it's a song you could just drive around to, you know, just cruise and shit. But it was a dope-ass song. They cracked music before Kanye and Game did Woody and Far. We had this, which Game didn't really feature on. But I think it was a good little kick to have people ask, who's this Game Guy feature? And then we have Roses, one of my all-time favorite songs from Kanye West. They be rapping from the slow, and you can feel the pain. It was probably a hot song for Kanye West to ever top. And probably had one of the dopest lyrics. And then we have Bring Me Down, which is featuring Brandy, but to be honest, I never pay attention to it. So next, now Addiction. This song for sure at harm repeat. You make me smile with my heart. I always quote that line, even though it's from Eda James. To be honest, this probably made the whole song, but this song was dope overall, man. I've always heard it. I, I, could, I could hear it maybe like a hundred times a year, to be honest. But it's my favorite song. Okay, next we have Diamonds of Sierra Leone, which was really a big song when it came out. But to be honest, I wasn't really a big fan of it since I couldn't get jiggy with it. <laughs> I did watch the hip-hop documentary though called Bling, which had Paul Wall, Ray Kwan, Theo Galaron, another artist, which I heavily encourage y'all to watch about the blood trade. I couldn't find the link, so I'm sorry about that. But y'all should really look for it somehow. I honestly found it at Dollar Tree one day, a while back, a couple years ago. Well, anyways, I never really paid attention too much to We Major, but so next. But next we have Hey Mama. I prefer the 2008 Grammy version, but that he performed after his mom passed away. It was a lot more powerful and I had a different slower beat, but overall, beautiful song. Alright, then next we have Celebration, then we have Skit Number 4, then we have Gone, and then we have the bonus track, Damage with Sierra Leone, and then we have Late. Which, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't really feel any of the songs or the skit. I don't even remember the damn skit, to be honest. But when I was started hearing this album on Spotify, I honestly started listening to call this dropout after. So honestly, I'm looking forward to doing that one day. So I'd like to end this here. And this is Truce. Peace.